What is up everybody? It's King Kunta, and today I have another amazing World of Warcraft gold farm for you guys. And in today's video, I'm going to teach you guys how you can make anywhere from between, I want to say about 20,000, 30,000 gold an hour, all the way up to, a, it really depends on what your server's uh, prices are going for and all that stuff. But also we have the opportunity to receive the Reigns of the Jade Primordial dire horn and it's all farming or it's all from farming these three rare mobs that i'm about to show you guys well actually two and the first one that i'm going to show you i am literally following so nobody else kills it is the zandalari war scout now the reason these mobs are important and cool are for a couple reasons now the first one being that what they drop is some pretty pretty cool stuff so as you can see here, you actually have abilities to get tons of reputation from these people with the August uh, Celestials. But in addition, they actually have the ability to drop satchels of herbs and uh, mats from Mista Pandaria. Now, these farms are great for people that have basically nothing to do. If you're sitting in a cube, these farms are amazing for you. So we are located here in Town Long Steeps in Pandaria. We are located right here, right at the top where this big tree is. Now there is one mob that spawns here that drops the arguably best loot that you can actually get from here and it is the Zandalari Warbringer. Now the Zandalari Warbringer is basically sitting on a giant triceratops and he drops a giant satchel that contains anywhere from mats, uh, goods, herbs, anything along those lines. Um, all the way up to the mount that I uh, was talking to you guys about earlier. Now his respawn time is anywhere between 45 minutes and one hour so if you're on a high pop server you can actually see these spots being camped quite frequently. If you're on a low pop server you're almost guaranteed to go kill this because you can actually just fly right here and it will probably be up for you guys. This is not a farm a ton of people do and very few actually know that it can be farmed repeatedly and most people are only really doing it for the mount anyways. Now, the Zandalari Warbringer actually spawns in one specific location, which is right here, this little area right at the top. Now, the Zandalari War Scout, which you actually saw me kill at the beginning of the video, that actually has a different spawn chance. Now, it actually patrols up and down the coastline. Now, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys an image here. Now, the easiest way to spot these guys out of the crowd is they're they are or patrolling mobs sorry i can't even speak right now but they're the only mob that will actually follow the path and they're the only mob that actually uh does not have a spear or sword type weapon uh they actually carry a hammer and i believe that's one of the easiest ways to point them out um from the other ones now there are two that spawn there is one that spawns on this side with all these creepy little crawly bugs and then there's one that spawns on the other side which you actually saw me kill in the beginning of the video now as you can see you do have to follow the path for a little bit but these spawns are right at the beginning of the path so uh, as you can see that one spawned right there and began walking that way the other one will spawn here and begin walking that way so just afking here you have a pretty good chance of actually killing the scouts and the warbringer both if you just afk here now this farm is perfect for people that actually are looking for the mount of the reigns of the jade primordial dire horn but also, in addition to that, you're going to get tons of Mist of Pandaria mats, which you can actually get tons of gold off of as well, depending on your server. Now, again, this is all server dependent, but uh, keep in mind, these spawns are anywhere from about 45 minutes to an hour, so it can take a little bit longer. But if you're sitting in a queue waiting for a dungeon, or just looking for new things to go hunting for, this is definitely a great farm that you guys can check out. And if you really liked this video, if you could leave me a comment down below about why you really liked it or what you really liked about it, it would really help me out. This is one of the few farms that I'm starting to switch over and uh, trying to show you guys some of the farms that aren't really focused on gold so much as rare items and spawns and stuff. Because I personally, this is what I have fun uh, doing in World of Warcraft, of course making gold. Uh, in the end is also helpful as well but I also like just finding these rare spawns and go ahead and really getting their loot so if you guys really like this video let me know in the comment section down below if you disliked it of course let me know as well and uh, yeah if you comment goon squad down below I will heart your comment and I will also know you watched the end of the video and uh, that's all I really got to show you guys 
This farm is super simple, it's not complicated, and it can actually bring you a quick amount of gold really fast if you're really lazy and you just want to sit here in AFK. And you also want the chance at getting them out. So, if this did help you, let me know. And it has been King Kunta, everybody. I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.